Jan Koonen is going to join us on stage. Jan, please. Uh, we have a Bonjour. clicker. I need the clicker. Jan, please. I need the clicker. It's okay, Jan Koonen is a movie. It's a, it's a roller coaster, huh, this is a day. It's, uh, it's, it's all good. Yeah, it's, a, it's, it's a, our kind of little ceremony. Yeah, yeah. How are you doing? I'm well. I'm, thank you to invite me here. And thank you for all the presenters and the present and this song and everything. It's like a journey. Help me introduce you, Ian. You're a movie producer. Um, no, I, I'm, I'm, Doberman. I'm, I'm, Who has I'm, watched any movie of, of Ian? Yeah, you have? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Okay. So I'm, I'm a filmmaker. I do, I do films, classical, or I'm classical films. My first film was a punk film, but then I met the ayahuasca with the Shipibo tribe in '99 in Peru, and that changed completely my course of life and my course of uh, creation as well. So, um, and since then, that has been a, a really important part in my life to go back diet plants for like now 24 years. Um, I make this poster to present myself. That's the first time that I make, I put images. He asked me, Loic, normally I come at the end of a film and I speak about the film and answer the questions, but this is very new for me. So anyway, uh, the, f the first film I've done on the subject is Other World. And Blueberry was a big, um, a big Western, shamanic Western with the sheep Ibo. And after I did Darshan, and that the poster of, um, of a VR experience about ayahuasca. So that you can see if you're in Paris, you're going to be able to see it again. Um, at Musée du Quai Branly, there will be a big exhibition on uh, shamanic vision based on ayahuasca that will be in November. And um, there you're going to see it. So anyway, and I put Passion Becca here with Nuni, so you can take a picture because I love that film and you can find it on YouTube, this one. It's a film done really in the language of the Shipibo, with the real story of the Shipibo, with a great healer. Uh, it's a sad story, it was done for the UN and the mortality giving birth, but I love that film, and um, if you have 15 minutes to see it, uh, it's 35 millimeter black and white shot, it's, it's, uh, and it's very touching, and it's, it's a great healer that has been, um, as a, that has disappeared. So anyway, here at the end of my presentation, who I am. So you wanted to share a few photos with us, which we have here? Oh yeah, I. I just uh, put some photo of my VR experiences. So, um, so the VR experiences came. VR. VR. So, so you VR have this whole setup with headset. Yeah, it's with the helmet. So basically, my idea is when I came back from this, um, you know, adventure with the Shipibo and this entering this realm, I thought if I'm a filmmaker and a storyteller, my duty to the medicine and to what I've been given by the indigenous, by the Shipibo, is to share that in my tribe, making films, books, uh, and different things, and talks about the, the, the medicine. And, um, and among this way I did that, I, I, and at one moment people asked me to make a VR experience, and when I put the helmet on my head, I thought immediately that the perfect system to reproduce a nearer um, simulation of uh, an ayahuasca ceremony is the visionary side, because you surrender by your senses visually. Huh? You don't have the, the body feeling of the drunkness and the effect of the plant. But I thought it was um, an approach to share what is difficult to share, unshareable, but still we can approach. And still we can, we can try to share in another way. The best way to share that experience is to convince people to maybe, if they think they need the medicine and they want to go and they have something to will to, to go with the indigenous people. But in case if they want something. So I have set some images of the VR experience I've done. 
Uh, so you could you could s that's all in movement in 3D in space, and it's floating around you. I think I have a trailer. You can go on the image if you have the cursor, and it's going to a spiritual ending, also visionary that you can have with ayahuasca into the room when you have a strong uh, ceremony. You can have the vision like eyes open, where you have the spiritual presence and the energy presence. Uh, you have visions eyes open. Eyes open. It doesn't matter whether they close or open. And um, I think I, I, I have. Sorry, I did prepare that quite uh, late, so the quality of the picture is not very good. It comes from my phone, but it's just to see the motion of the VR experience, that's a reduction of it. So you have some sound, so you could see this, the yeah, voice of the, the shaman. <laughs> videos or just one? And yes, to finish the presentation, because I thought it was, it's interesting this place and this moment, because <laughs> I love the moment where you have like the Kogi asking the question of, uh, of the, the, yeah, the eye. And actually, I, I, I thought about something, because I thought the question, his question was very accurate, actually. It's, it's, there is a gap between two perception of our experience of life uh, and to the culture. But anyway, uh, I thought what is interesting in what you're doing here and what we do, at least some of, uh, and I, I love the, tra the um, promo reel I saw of the film that has been made on the culture and uh, the work of everyone. And artistically, it's interesting also to see the mixing of you leave something like, uh, you have an experience with Indian, you have a, a connection like a, brother, a brotherhood, and then also you have another people from your culture that's learning, learning and uh, apprend uh, uh, learning, uh, sorry, it was, that is learning. And then together we make something which is coming from the Shipibo, in language of Shipibo, but it's done in the Western way. Uh, we did a little extract and you're gonna see it. It's, an, it's, it's based on an NFT that we could share with the, the community after. Uh, you, can, you can play it. With the sound, because it's very short. After this? This one. Ah, can sound? we have the sound, please? So, so what, what is so this? this is the mix of what the are picture. you trying to do? What are you doing? No, we, we just it's like you have a camera inside your brain and you drink the plants, you see this, and now you make that so other people can, can see. Why, why do you make this? No, I make this because, of course, as you see, this was just an idea of doing another creative object based on the film where you see the extract, which is the VR experience, the big one. Yeah, the same, but same, the goal same. of this is for this people who don't. I never have it's this for Brian. Experience. For Brian. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Brian is for you. Because Brian does ten years of research and you drink a cup of plants. That's that's the difference. The the human the human experience is like so crazy. You know when he when he when he, for example he said that though but yes, exactly it's for people who doesn't go into the experience to to prepare to share it 
in a way that they see that there is knowledge, intelligence of the nature, knowledge of the indigenous people, something like a science be, be behind this. For me, what I discover, and now I can tell you, you can discover it because you drink for six months, but over the 24 years of my journey, it's coherent, it's the same feeling, it's a, it's a science that we don't have as a culture. We have lost it, as Brian explained it. They still have it. We're a human being, so we can have this if they accept to, because you can't take the plants actually like that. This is always for me crazy. You know, I'm a bit uh, like somebody like, um, um, uh, fuck, uh, je suis un peu réactionnaire. I'm a réactionnaire, how do you say that? Against the system? Yeah, a bit straight, you know, it's like oh. when you use plants, you don't do it like that. You use plant, it's a sacred thing, so you do it with the person who knows the, the roots and that the indigenous people, you do it in a certain way. It's like, you know, when you get into, you have, you, have, you have something. So I'm a bit, you know, like that. Plants is in a certain way and that's the culture that knows the past. Apart from, okay, so, so why I'm doing that? I'm doing to share, to share what I've been, because I'm a filmmaker. You know what, is, what does a filmmaker? A filmmaker, he leaves things and then he makes films. Or he loves a story, he doesn't know why this story resonates with his soul or body. He wants to make a film and then when he's doing the film, he finds inside why he did this film. So me, I live that experience that I didn't imagine that. You know, I didn't imagine I was thinking, okay, they have a knowledge, so I better be with the indigenous. I didn't imagine that, they have, that I was Richard Dreyfus from Klaus Encounter for the Third Kind, like suddenly discovering that on the same planet there is people that knows more, deeper on the nature of reality and the human experience. And I was projected into a, a, that realm. So normally, Logically, as a filmmaker, what, what can I can do? I can't keep that for myself. So it would be interesting to share that. And it's like, it's almost intuitive. It's almost what I have to do, you know? It's so like, you can take people with you to the Amazon forest? Yeah, no, no, me, I do okay, films. I've done a few times, or you can... Or you can do films, film? art, books. You know, I'm doing different other different so Let's books. talk about AI in the time we have left a little okay, bit. Okay. Because no, I mean, you talk about what you like. No, 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 we can talk about AI. You know, about uh, AI, uh, I had this, this feeling. When the, the, the Kogi asked him, what about the thought that doesn't come from the human, like you have the thought from the planet, from the plants, from the nature that go through us, and we create our psychology, so and so. And so we have different, uh, different family. It was very interesting because for us it's very strange as a culture. And for me that's 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 uh, very logic. So I would say that um, I, I love that 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 question, and that question will project me into a proposal that come from my my experiences uh, in the jungle and my time with ayahuasca about how could we metaphor, how could we metaphor what is our, um, into the ayahuasca, our life experience with a metaphor. Because we're doing intelligence artificial, I want to use a metaphor of a video game. Because everyone talk about simulation and stuff like that. Huh? We, we talked uh, about simulation. So I, I'm thinking, that <clears throat> if it were a video game, we would be the avatar. You mean this is a uh, video game? No, yeah, the life experience is a video game. Let me check. Let me. Yeah, but you're an avatar and I am an avatar. Okay, that means what? That there is somebody who plays. Okay. Okay? Who made the game first? Uh, yeah, of course. But there is player. It's, it's a question of culture. I think, I definitely think that what the Kogi says is, is about that, you know? The, the thinking that doesn't come from us, that the player. So, so there is someone playing Jan Kunen right now? No, there is players. One is playing me now, okay? But if I change my mood or suddenly I have a special emotion, it's another player will come. Every emotion, 
feeling thought of players. In the, in the shamanic realm, you will say spirits, entities, whatever, okay? Energy. So, suddenly it's kind of sad, you know, as a proposal. We human, we don't decide nothing, we just are played. And, um, so you mean there is a spirit behind you that is I know, the, that, uh, when that I mean, decided to become this body, no, 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 make no. this movie? No, 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 no. No? No, no, there there, is there's, plenty. there's like some kind of joystick <laughs> and controlling the no, puppet Jan there is, Kunen. There is plenty of beings behind what we think or what we feel. And sometimes we have thinking that not us. He was saying what the, the thinking about... You know, the grace sometimes. When we receive the grace, we are not that. We are, it passes through, through us. When we have anger, it's another, maybe a demon, but it passes through us. So we are played by that. And sometimes in the ayahuasca, you can have this intuition, let's say, okay? Not of this video game. It's just a metaphor for the, for, to do it in a fun way, you know? But in a certain sense, what I, what I am feeling is we're a very special avatar. So we can't choose what we do, but we can choose with who we play. Well, thanks for playing with us right now. No, not me. The guy, the, the not me. <laughs> you, you understand? You follow me? Yeah, okay. So I mean, What's your name? <laughs> no, I don't understand. Maybe we should uh, just talk to the room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what I mean is like, if I am... <laughs> If I take suddenly an information like that shocked my ego, oh, I don't like this person, the way he talked to me. Up, I have a new player, yeah, I love him, so yeah, fuck him, whatever. So you play with him. But if you say, at the moment you say, okay, it doesn't matter, you know what it does, I love him. Oof, this player is, is gone and another one come. So you can choose the alliance. In, with which forces go through your mind, body, soul, heart. <laughs> and maybe to answer the question of the intelligence artificielle, maybe an AI can connect with that because it has other sensors. So we pass on, on another level. Okay. I, I, I'm not following okay. you. I'll do it another way. But the way. room does, so it's okay. all good. No, uh, what I'm saying is like... There, are you an AI? Absolutely. Uh, what, what I'm saying is that basically it's a very different paradigm. In the indigenous world, you talk about aliens. Aliens with forces in the nature. Aliens with human beings. Aliens with emotions thought, decision. That's your players. You know what I mean? And you decide that. And you open up. You know, when you receive grace or, or things, you're not like, hi, you've been, you're dying to, you're dying to uh, uh, an identity at one point. You know, in you, the you, you think experience. this is an alien, like, uh, showing up to you through whatever you do? Because, by the way, we're talking about plants, but people can do that for meditation. We'll have a meditation today later, breath work. There's so many ways to access that. I, I, don't, so, I, don't, I don't follow you. But Good for ask me. me ask me, ask me, ask me your question. You prefer the plants? Yeah. yeah so, so what? So I'm just, I'm just, just saying that there are other options. Yeah, but, yeah, but no, no, no. But you this, asked me on, on intelligent this, artificial, so. so what no. is, is this an AI? This. What to create the image? Oh, that, yeah. The, uh, no, what you see there. No, what you see there is a production, the reproduction of the. No, no, no. I know, but you drink your plants. Yeah. Now I. Ah, okay, okay. You ask me about the variation and the vision, what it is. Yes. Okay. Is this an AI controlling this and taking... So, basically, no, I answer you, okay? You give me five minutes. So no, I actually give you one minute, 30 okay, seconds. Okay, one minute, 27 <laughs> seconds. Okay. Okay, now, I don't want to talk about AI. You understand that. Yeah, I just I've wanted to talk about the like, medicine. Yeah, no, the AI. yeah you, you hate it, right? No, I don't hate it. It will be what a did you say, AI? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So you try to GPT? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You love it. I have one minute, so I took 20 <laughs> seconds more, okay? <laughs> so what I'm saying is like, what is this or this image? It's the technology, it's like the filter that stuck us in our sensorial world, you know, we see this reality. When you take the plant, there is a filter that go on and, and the spirits of the medicine, the intelligence of the plant, the knowledge comes through you. And then you have an interface, which is new 
to navigate. This is the interface to navigate. I see you, I can touch you. This is one interface. If you take off the filter, you have another one to have a lecture of yourself, your emotion, your sensation, your memories, what is outside. And then you have the knowledge of the indigenous people is to navigate there, to connect the spirits, to open up and let in the th song of the medicine that they do, to let the song go through them and the medicine goes through them and be one with it and be one with the nature. And that image, the precedent, that was the entering of the stabilization of the chaos of the, the drunkness at the beginning where you have archetype of your different thought, demon or whatever, mental chaos. And by the, by the you dissolve the mental, you stabilize the body. And then you Are you doing a chaos with your just like, I, can you do I, that again? I, 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 you open it, you know what I mean? So that was the answer of what it is, this image. Okay. Okay, thank you. Yeah, I'm the thank only one. Thank you very much. Thank you. I should go on. I love you, Yad. Okay, thank you very much to take the time to listen to me. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Yad. Um... <clears throat>